letting go and letting God. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, or um, advice. I give none of that. I just share with you my opinion on different topics, as is with this one. Let go and let God. Well, first of all, I'm on my way out the door, and I wanted to do this video before I left. We have to still wear... Um, or were suggested to still wear um, the mask around us. So I have my little mask around me and then I just pull it up at certain stores and certain places. And um, so I wanted to talk about letting go and letting God. For me, that is not an excuse not to do my own work. That is not an excuse to not plan out my life. That is not an excuse to not to have dreams, goals, and visions um, in my life. But for me personally, I let go and let God. I feel that inner voice um, guide me through my life. Not an audible voice, but an inner voice, an inner peace, knowing what's right for my life and knowing what's not right for my life. I don't try to push or rush goals. I let them come to me. And in that space in between, what I often do is just go about my life, living my life until that right direction comes to me. I go with the flow, so to speak. And yet, I do the work. If, if I feel like I am meant to go in a certain direction or accomplish something, I do the work. I make the right decisions. I put forth the right amount of energy because letting go and letting God and going with the flow should not be an excuse for not making right decisions, choices, goals, dreams, plans, or the work and energy behind it. Some people say, oh yeah, I let go, let God, and I'm just gonna kick back and do nothing. Well, I believe that we are always meant to be doing something, even if it's sleeping and resting our bodies. I believe that um, it, it, it turning, just saying, well, I don't have to have goals, I don't have to have dreams, I don't have to have visions. I believe that sometimes there might be a period of time where we don't have a definitive goal, plan, direction. And that's okay. Be at peace during that time as you wait that direction. I believe that we're often inspired. We know. We feel this passion. We feel this inner knowing about what's right for our lives. And then it's usually up to us to do the work, or at least some of the work, make the right decisions. I believe that divine timing, divine connections, um, synchronicity, divine synchronicity. Um, I believe that there are people that enter our lives, the right people, when it's the right goal, the right vision, the right dream. The solutions come, the answers come. They come in their own timing and in their own way. Sometimes we have to wait on an answer because the timing is not quite there. Sometimes the answer will come right to us and we need to recognize it and be ready for it. I believe that when we're in our purpose, what I call the divine purpose, our many divine purposes usually in life, that our blessings will come to us if we have a challenge, often that challenge is meant to push us forward when we are within our divine purpose. When there's challenges and difficulties and we're not within our purpose, often it's an alert system telling us we may be going in a wrong direction. So we want to make sure that we're in our purpose and that we're going in the right directions and making the right choices and decisions in our life. And yet being at peace about it, not worrying about it, not fearing it, not being all uptight about it. I I live my life in peace. I don't live my life in worry. I live my life in peace knowing I let go and let God. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. If you connect with me, I will likely connect back with you as well. May God bless you. Bye-bye.